first heard this type of music actually with Steve. Um, he asked me to do a program of it called Spanish Gold, and we did that in 2011 in Caramore. Uh, and that was the first time I had heard any of this. So it was all new to me, but we just instantly fell in love. <laughs> I really like the, the passion of the romance culture. I mean, in Catalonia, also in Spain, they just have this passionate sense about them. But also, uh, it has a really interesting sense of harmony. Um, for example, in one of the songs we say, it's like the musical version of Picasso. So it's this kind of interesting mix of something really beautiful and something really strange. And that attracted me. <laughs> to learn I think four dialects for this. Um, also I've sung in Italian, French and German as well as Russian and I'm doing a piece in Mandarin this year so I'll just add it to my list of things. <laughs> I first met Corinne when she auditioned at City Opera. She looked like this beautiful, rather tiny girl with the most enormous and colorful voice. I couldn't believe that this voice was coming out of this gorgeous, slightly bird-like person uh, in this huge theater, filling this theater. music for a long time, many decades now. Um, with New York Festival Song, I've done a fair amount of it. But when I did a program about Barcelona, the love affair was uh, very much uh, in full flower. La tarara, si, la tarara, no, la tarara, niño, que la he visto yo. It's been exhilarating and tiring completely to record this album. Um, I, I think I'm more tired than I thought I would be, but I'm more inspired as well and I'm finding new things all the time and, and pushing my boundaries and like I said before I think that's that's a huge part of who I am is always pushing the pushing the limit pushing the boundaries